Anaplan Extensions August 2020 update. In this video, we will talk through what's new this month and see some key functionalities in version 4.0. This version focuses on a revised upgrade experience and remapping a connection. These are all items that have been highly demanded by our customers. So we really look forward to having your feedback about this new version. First, you'll benefit from an enhanced user experience with simplified ribbon icon. Let's have a look. You can see at the top the ribbon from Exceladin 3.4 and at the bottom the new one. You can see the icons are bigger, simplified and more meaningful. This will hopefully help you navigate better in the add-in. And the great news is we've added back the send and refresh button in the ribbon. It was called show changes in 3.4. When you have an editable connection, a read-write connection, and you make changes, click on send and refresh. It will open the task pane on the right in which you can review your changes, just like in 3.4, and then hit submit. The fact that the functionality is called send and refresh again makes it easier for you to understand where you should click to write data back into Anaplan. And we have a great news again around accessibility. You'll be able to use the different Microsoft Office themes. If you're not familiar with them, let's have a look. If you go to your Excel option, you can choose colorful, dark gray, black or white Office theme. In the past, the icons wouldn't work if you used the black Office theme, for example. But now, as you can see on the left hand side, our new icons work in all those themes, which means that our add-in is more accessible. We've also simplified the access to the information our users need. This is based on your feedback, so thank you very much for your contribution. The first thing you may need is some help. You've got some questions about the add-ins, you want to know how to use this functionality. Well, if you need some help, we've got you covered. The add-in help functionality is now visible from the ribbon and you'll find your answers to the questions you're asking. You can even contact our support team. Let's have a look. The first item is the online user guide. If you click on it, it will open Anapedia. In Anapedia, you can find step-by-step -step instructions for all our functionalities. So if you don't know how to use a functionality, how do I do send and refresh? How does clone a connection work? Go on to Anapedia from this button. The next item is extensions information. This opens our community page with everything about the extensions. You'll find our best practices. You'll find some demo videos. You'll find um, some blog posts. There's everything about the extensions that you might be interested in. If you'd like to learn about a specific functionality, we've launched some new training content. The micro lessons last one or two minutes and they are focused on specific functionalities. For example, installing the add-in and signing in or remapping a connection. You'll be able to watch a short video that gives you exactly what you need on a particular topic and there are more videos to come. The next item is Ask the Community. This opens the forum on community. You can just browse the forum and maybe somebody else has asked the same question that you're asking before, or you can ask your question or start a topic. You can use the label extensions to enable us to, and, your, and other users to find the content uh, more easily. You need a community account to be able to post on the forum. You might have seen that the final option in this add-in help is the ability to email support. When you click on this button, it opens an email that is pre-populated with technical information. You don't need to find this information, where is the log file, how do I find which version I'm in, it's all pre-populated for you. In addition, there are some simple questions to answer. 
This will help our support team to narrow down your concern and hopefully help to resolve your case faster. Also, if you've got a specific company policies when you have issues with the add-in, you may want to follow those policies. For example, that may include copying your company help desk in the email. We really look forward to see the impact of this new functionality on the time it takes to resolve a case. So thank you very much for your contribution in populating this email. Finally, lots of people have expressed the, that they wanted to provide feedback. The great news is we've introduced this in Excel Adding 4.0. You've got a provide feedback button directly into the ribbon, which makes it super visible for every user. And this feedback goes directly to the development team. The first item opens our extensions feedback group on community. If you're not a member, you need to create a community account and then you can request to join. Your access is generally approved within a few days. Once you're all in, you'll find activities that you can participate into. For example, you may be asked for your opinion on something. It will probably only take two minutes to give your feedback. And we also run some usability testing and other feedback sessions. So feel free to join. The next item opens the idea exchange. You can just browse the existing ideas and vote for them, or you can post your own idea. You can even track the status of ideas to see if your idea is in the roadmap and when it's been delivered. Again, use the label extensions to facilitate the search. The final item is our user research program. This is not specific to the extensions. This is a global Anaplan program about all the products. You don't need a community account to join. And if you'd like to participate into usability testing, focus groups, surveys about any product in the, in the Anaplan world, then just uh, fill in the questionnaire. One of the main concerns for the users in previous versions was to be able to upgrade seamlessly from one version to the other. We've worked a lot on that in this version and we've designed an add-in that will enable you to upgrade to the next version seamlessly. The first thing we've done is to redesign the installation results and to do some prerequisite checks. First, the installation file exists in both .exe and .msi format so that you can choose which one you want based on your company policy. Also, when you launch the installer, if some prerequisites are missing, you are prompt to install them. There is no for me only or for all users choice to make anymore. The installation is simplified and designed to work and be successful the first time. The next thing we've done is removing the authentication choice between SSO and email and password from the installation path. Now it is directly into the add-in. This is what it looks like. You can sign in either with email and password or single sign-on. And if you're a partner and you need to switch regularly between one or the other, that makes it so much easier for you. If you had to, you could even set up multiple SSO URLs in the settings using the authentication settings. This is a great step for everybody who's entered an incorrect friendly URL or partners we need to change regularly. Then to facilitate the upgrade from one version to the other, we need to facilitate the migration of your workbook. We've introduced the workbook conversion feature. When you install a new major version for the add-in, for example, 4.0, you'll see in the ribbon this new icon, Workbook Conversion, with a red dot which indicates a notification. When you click on it, it will prompt you to convert your workbook. Don't worry, we'll keep a copy and this will be your backup file. So if you have to go back to the previous add-in version for any reason, 
you'll have a copy of your current workbook, which means that you're going to be able to open that backup file in the previous add-in version. This workbook conversion enables you to seamlessly migrate from 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, or 3.4 to 4.0. Note that there won't be any workbook conversions for minor updates. For example, if you update from 4.0 to 4.1 or 4.0 to 4.2, because we only do minor updates and your workbook won't be impacted. One of the big things that we've solved is the file compatibility within a major version. A major version is indicated by the first digit. So all 4.0, 4.1, 4.2 will be part of a major version 4. With file compatibility, a file created in a 4.x version can be opened and refreshed in any 4.y version. So if you created a file in 4.3, it can be opened in 4.5 and it can be opened in 4.1 seamlessly. This is very useful because let's say your users are on 4.0. Next time, there is 4.1 being released and you want to test this new version first before rolling it out to your users. Well, you can still refresh your files in 4.1 and then send those files to people who are still on 4.0. You can also go back to a previous version if you want to seamlessly. Finally, to help you decide whether you want to upgrade or not, we've introduced the What's New functionality. In the ribbon, you'll see the What's New, and it has a red dot on it to indicate a notification when you have just installed the add-in. This will happen when you've just installed 4.0. You'll see that notification. To get rid of the notification, click on What's New, and then What's New in this version you land on a page on community which explains all the benefits and the new functionalities of this new version. Also, when there's a new version available, for example, when we introduce 4.1, there will also be a notification here prompting you to check for update. From there, you'll be able to see which new functionalities are in 4.1 and make the decision whether or not you want to upgrade. The last thing that we've done is introducing more flexible connection. This is a highly demanding feature to enable you to remap a connection. The most common use case will be if you've created a connection from your, uh, to your development model and you want to remap it to your um, production model. It can be different models. It can be different models in different workspaces. You can remap them. It's very easy. Just open the spreadsheet in which you've got your connection and click on remap. Then you'll see that model with your current connection and you just have to remap to your new connection. Just remember to press refresh after this to update your data. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope you enjoy the new features in 4.0. If you've got questions, ask in the forum and we'll be happy to help. And if you'd like to give us feedback, um, you've got all the tools in the add-in now to do this. Thank you very much.